When you play the Game of Thrones, you subscribe and like. Or you die. There is no middle ground. All right, hello YouTube. So we're back on the Grease Goblins channel, and today we're going to be doing a video I've wanted to do for a while. Um, I've just been busy with other projects. But the Blackfish, this was uh, also recommended to me by the comments. So actually, I couldn't find the comment. I looked for a good like 10 to 15 minutes and just couldn't find it. I don't know if YouTube just hid the comment or something. YouTube does some weird stuff with comments, especially the last week. I haven't really been getting notifications for videos anymore for some reason. But uh, yeah, so whoever commented that, uh, thank you for the video idea. And if it was you, let me down in the comments. I will pin your comment at the top. And yeah, let's get back to it. So that'll be up there right now. If you guys would like me to do a specific character or a theory or something, let me know. I will try to do it as soon as possible. And yeah, subscribe, like, and comment for more of this content. And getting into this video. So, the Blackfish, the last we know of, escapes River Run and most likely is either trying to A, rally uh, Tully forces or, you know, forces like that. Or, which I think would be really cool, is if he goes to Lady Stoneheart, you know, with the Brotherhood Without Banners, and actually starts helping them, possibly, you know, with his sister. And, well, there's a third. We'll go a third theory. The third theory would be he could be going to the Vale to basically just go back there because it's somewhere he's been before. He has a lot of respect. And maybe he could try to be looking to get the Vale involved in the war and coincidentally would run into Sansa. So that would be really cool if that was to happen. But I think there are three, I think those are the three likely places uh, the Blackfish is headed to. Now, I think we will see one of two things as well, starting the Winds of Winter. So Edmure and Jane Westerling are basically being, you know, held captive and are being taken to, I believe, Casterly Rock. To basically be, they're pretty much prisoners, but they're kind of like wards to a degree. Um, I think what we're going to see is one of two things. I think we can either see the, A, the wolf pack, Nymeria's big wolf pack, come in and just destroy this whole group. And maybe we see Edmure get away or something like that. Or we see something like the Blackfish as a force. This could be the Brotherhood Without Banners, as I said before, or just loyal forces to him. And they actually free Edmure and Jane Westerling. Also, if you don't know who Jane Westerling is, it is Rob's quote-unquote love interest in the books. They did a different character in the show. And they also did that entire plot a lot differently. In the show, it was more out of love. In the books, it was more out of honor and duty because Rob sleeps with her, uh, taking basically you know her virginity. And that's very frowned upon, so then he married her. So... Um, but I think that is where the Blackfish could start. I think he is going to be in the Riverlands just because it fits his character more. I think his main objective is going to be the retaking of River Run, uh, his family home, because I think what they did in the show wasn't completely wrong, as in the Blackfish would want to protect his home and retake his home, not go help in the North and stuff like that. So I think that is going to be the main focus of his character. Now, I do think his character is going to die. I just think that he's an older character. I don't think he has much use outside of a few early things, as in if we do the Veil plot where he meets up with Sansa, I could see his plot there being he helps Sansa basically to take out Littlefinger, and he eventually basically... Kind of just is her, you know, right-hand man. And eventually, he just somehow dies if it's in the war with the others. If it's just in a battle of some sort. And that could be an option that happens. I think in the Riverlands, I think definitely he will die either retaking River Run, Or he will die with basically his, you know, his knees, technically. Uh, in Catelyn, and, you know, seeing her like that, I think, would break Brendan. I think the Blackfish would, I don't know, maybe he would do something stupid, maybe he, like, starts with helping them, 
And, you know, along the way, he just realizes that this isn't his, you know, this isn't Catelyn anymore, right? And he tries to give her mercy and ends her life, or something like that, in and of itself getting himself killed by killing Lady Stoneheart. Even though I like Lady Stoneheart dying more to maybe an Arya character, um, I think Arya will come back and see her mother. Or I'd like to think that's going to happen before Arya inevitably kills uh, Lady Stoneheart or Catelyn. So, the Blackfish is a very interesting character. He's one of my favorite characters. I don't think he has a terribly large role to play outside of the next book. I think wins. He definitely will be a big character. But I think he will either die in wins, trying to retake River Run, or in a battle of some sorts. Or he will kind of just shrink to where he's just kind of an advising character. Kind of what he, what he was to Rob, where he was just advising him, um, being his, you know, guy who basically takes out, you know, the scouts and stuff and masks their movements. That's what I think the Blackfish, mostly his main role will be throughout the rest of the books. Let me know if you have an overarching theme for what you think or plot that you think could be different and what Blackfish could do. Uh, I think he's a very intriguing character. But, um, again, I do think his time is limited in, uh, A Song of Ice and Fire. But, uh, yeah. Let me know. And bye, guys. If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention.